in the Rene, because I don't think this is that popular of a strategy yet. Man, I heard about their strat before I heard about the team. That's kind of yeah. cool. That's I, that's very rare. Yeah. Anyways. I, I wasn't casting the game, so uh, I believe Zayori was, but yeah. What do you do versus it? I don't know. The thing is, like, when Void goes on you, right, if Deusa ults, like, the chrono is useless, you just have to back. And you can't go on Deusa. Deusa's way too tanky in general. Like, even without any items, you, you could probably get, like, two Wraith Mains and a Kila and just down to, like, over half HP. I do like when this, though. Goes. This this level can build a Necro Book good against Medusa, the Mana Bird. This might be a Quas Wex Invoker. Uh, okay, yeah, that's true as well. I think the high high level of Quas Cold Snap will be able to lock down an AM, actually. Um, and on top of that, they have the EMP to drain Medusa. Because without anti maze there aren't actually many natural mana burners at all, aside from Keeper the Light, which... You can just stand still with Dusa because it's what you normally do. Jesus, Kyle guy, you are blind as a bat. It's the 1200 size mini map icons. All right. Oh, well, nice. Get that man some glasses. That's what I use. Jesus, dude, those things take up. Like, you, you can't even see when two heroes are next to each other. All right, let's run through our drafts here. We've got KPG undefeated so far in the Summit 2 Europe by G2A.com. We've got Arts playing the Anti Mage. PSM will be playing your Witch Doctor. That puts goddamn onto Mr. Ogre Magi and. Bo Ninja handling that Venomancer. We'll be a core Veno. Looks to be headed mid as well with the, the early pooled regen. And that leaves Gorek. Once again, the offlane Medusa. And well, for Navi, FNG, the Triant Protector. Havost going to be playing the Razor. We have a little skirmish here in the river. Who gets the D ward first? They kill off the sentry. They keep their own uh, their own ward alive. And Navi off to a great start in their offensive trial. But it'll be Vanksgore on the Scarth Mage. Havost, your Razor. FNG, your Triant Protector. And... That puts Dendimon on the mid lane with the early blades of attack. Used to be a towel of that Crosswex build, and at least Funix safe lane is. Did the they board. just deny their ward? What is going on here? Oh no, they dropped another sentry. Yeah, but there was no one there to kill it. It was there. It was there for like ten seconds, and then maybe they maybe they saw the sentry get dropped, like saw it out of his inventory, and just assumed that. They would get people. Well, okay, the, so there were two Observer Wards there, yeah. and then they were killing the dire Observer Ward, and then it died right before they dropped a sentry. And. I think they, they must have assumed that KPG was going to drop another OBS and just decided to deny it. I suppose so. They have good control of it, though. But That's... I thought Anti Mage was going to blink up there and there was going to be some shenanigans, but oh. no shenanigans. Wait, are they still going to go to the mid? They're going in now. On that far. Half a ninja. Do they really want to commit to this one? They do. FNG giving them the club. What? Oh, they get the kill. Just barely. Another cast bounce down to the tower. This is probably going to be two the other way. Bank score. That zero base armor scar is made. Good luck getting out. Oh, double kill for PSM. Some shenanigans to start this first game of the day. Oh, my. So, Quaswex is Dendi's build. That's that's the better build, although it's not as fun to watch. But Quaswex is something that I haven't seen in a very long time. Only useful in very particular situations and specific ones like this. Yeah, EMP and Chronosphere is a nice combo, obviously, just because you can guarantee that EMP goes off even early. And, well, do we see do we see the follow-up to that where Funny goes for the Manta Diffusal Blade? Because I believe he's done that before against... It wasn't against Medusa. It was against someone else who really relies Dude, on Dude, that builds own age. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised it's not actually gotten more often. Funny is destroying this Deuce on bottom, though, with that Orb of Venom. My goodness. Yeah, she went for the early boots, and, and Funnig is just posting the hell up on her. And, well, he's got still plenty of regen to go. Gorok, only the two tangos. Gorok might be in trouble here. I think Funnig might go for a kill soon. Does he have... what's his build? Okay, Time Walk, Bash. All yeah, he he's needs building is offensively. three GG Bashes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for a good Void player. Yeah, so early on, Denny's off to a really good start. Um, he's currently, say, 8 and 5. The first blood went to the Skyrock, so he didn't get the gold for that, but... Well, obviously, this is a lane where Invoker gets annoyed as the Venno levels up if the wards keep on coming out. But for now, he's he's having a good time and, and farming them pretty well. You can see Effident Ninja trying to protect those wards, just because they're so damn squishy early on. Keeps them up on the hill. And, and Coppas aren't really checking runes at all, either. This rune and bottom has sat there for quite some time, and they haven't really been able to leave the AM just because of the... Uh, Skyrath, but he's actually only level 1 now. FNG has a double damage rune. They're actually going on him, but... Oh, there was no backup there, else PSM really could have been punished for that. We'll see Gorak rotate back towards the bottom lane. So aggressive tri-lane. So far, Art 7 and 2. 
And the Rays are 11 and 3, so they are shutting down the AM's farm a bit. Is it good enough? I think Navi has approached this game pretty well, though, in terms of their game plan. Prepare the Razor versus the Anti-Mage, because Razor's not useful versus him late game, so you have to capitalize on his advantage early game with range and static link and whatnot. And then Dusa can't really do that much versus Places Void, because their base damage is really poor. And Funnix actually making a go on Gorok again. Yeah, still has the Mana Shield, and Gorok should be okay, oh but no, now he's Mana. Score. Where's that Bash? Where's that Bash at? Meanwhile, top lane, PSM driven off. Arts gets silenced as well. This could be your first blood. Blinks out, barely surviving. That was close. And Scary Banks are right. also not having too much fun. Bottom lane, the Bash. And the kill for Funix. He's now gone for three points of time. Like, well, simultaneously, middle lane. Dendi dives in, has the Tornado, catches out Appa Ninja. So Navi now, well, they got the first blood. They've now gotten two solo kills. So they're, I don't know if you'd say they're winning all three lanes, but Havos is out farming the AM, so I suppose in that sense they are. Oh, they're definitely winning all three lanes. That's really good for them. And we see a little bit of skirmish on the top lane. Dendi could easily come and help out with the Tornado if necessary. FNG does have a Leech Seed. If he gets the right rune, this is going to be big trouble for PSM. He's basically praying that there won't be a Hastern spawning for FNG. And, well, there wasn't, but still going in with the club. Gets the kill again. Goddamn. Looking for the trade. We'll kill off that tree. Ogre has no love of nature. Violent and vicious creature, the Ogre Magi. I wonder why they picked Venomancer for Matt as opposed to another hero. It's very vulnerable to the ganks from Navi, and he's actually not that good of a lane controller by himself. And Anti Mage requires so much support that his supports can't really help him out. But hmm. maybe they expected a, a safe lane try instead. I think they wanted D push, just because they saw the, the opening was what? Like Razor. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, if I, just style. on the Razor, you could pick into something that takes towers early, I guess. But. Wow, Fates is really going for the face boots. Look at Funic posting up on Gorak again. Gorak is so close to his own face boots. He just wants that one more last hit. He's got the gold now, but he's still going to get chunked heavily as he's forced off the lane. Yeah, he's he's going to have a better time against Funic now, though, who is out of mana. That is a very unusual void build. It does help him lane, obviously, but it's not purely for the 1v1 yeah. aspect. Yeah. You're not going to get nearly as many bashes in Chrono with the reduced attack speed, and well, to be those fair, are double damage bashes. You can get a alacrity from Invoker too. That's true. That could. Dendi is going cross wax, so there's some opportunities there. Mid lane, going to see a smoke. Goddamn in the front, and Dendi could be in trouble now. Gets scaled initially. Does he have a ghost walk available? He does have his invoke. Is he going to use it? Cold snap for now. Still not ghost walking. He turns and he stands his ground with Banshee support. He's able to live, even dropping the EMP to really force them off the lane. Goddamn, out of mana. And he's able to survive. Good turn there. While well, bottom lane, Funic got the kill on the Medusa thanks to the rotation of FNG. So the offlane Medusa not off to that powerful start that we saw previously from, from Compass Gaming. And the anti mage on top too, still just having a miserable time with only 13 CS. Miserable. Yeah. Well, if you're able to shut down the AM Storm and you're winning your two solo lanes, then, well, game plan was a success, I think it's safe to say. All three cores of Navi topping the farm charts. They now lead by 4k gold. And you go into this mid game, KPG are pretty light on actual team fight. You've got Stone Gaze and Witch Doctor Roll, which can be very potent, but good luck getting it off. They'll need to find some kills now. Havost is stunned in the top lane. Art's going on to him, giving him the slice and dice. Is there any kind of teleport support? No, not going to happen. And Havost will overextend in a four hero smackdown. He ends up dying, but such is life for our good friend. So they're going to have a lot of lockdown for this anti-mage, and they don't actually have that many spells to save them, like no defensive disrupts or four staffs coming anytime soon. They have Invoker, who is closing in on an Orchid fairly soon with one Oblivion staff, and then they have Chronosphere as well as Root and Skyrath Silence. Uh, Art's so. top lane. He's caught out, but this gonna need a, you're going to need at least one more bash from Funic. Doesn't get it. In fact, they turn on him. His mom's going to be drained. If he doesn't get that bash, he might end up going down. Well, he does. Wow, what a timely bash. <laughs> That was, that was a confident stay around from Funic, and also from the AM, hoping not for a bash. Which, uh, I mean, Funic was kind of due at that point. And while that was all going on, uh, they lost their Venomancer mid. I uh, believe it was just a solo kill from Dendi. Oh, you know what? Actually, the Scarth mage might have been Yeah, things are shaping up to be really poor for combos. I think they can come back with their lineup, but this is a devastatingly poor laning phase. And, like, how's your AM going to farm at this point? Or, or the Medusa with Invoker about to get a... Um, working towards the Orchid, and you're just running around Ghost Walk the entire game. You're going to need gem sentries. These supports are dirt poor. And these cores are not very tanky if they're... Well, no, Medusa is if she's got Mana Shield already on, but 
And your AM won't be able to survive for too long if you get silenced. Yeah, but they can just ignore her. She doesn't do that much damage at this point. Yeah, and where's the comeback mechanic? There's no ancient stacks. There's no big stacks either. There's good fighting, man. Jungle. Best comeback mechanic. I'll okay, here's how it's gonna go, Ben. You ready? I'm ready. Stone gaze. Witch doctor ult. Easy physical damage. <laughs> GG. It's not bad. Yeah. If Witch Doctor ever hits level He's six. Level three at eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit overconfident here. I, I do believe in that duo if they get the combo, but this ult's pretty easy to dodge the stun. Like you, she ults, you turn around. <laughs> it's it's but you're still not, not doing side. damage for three seconds, That's which true. is pretty good. Yeah. At least you're not getting turned. Van score so. and oh no, Van score is no man's land. Yeah, Tucked away in the trees and now getting smacked once, but that's it. They do manage to get off the Maledict on him. The follow-up Fire Blast comes through, and the clubbing begins. Man, Vangskor getting hit by all the weapons. The Blade, the club, give him the stick if you can. A blink forward. Not able to finish him off yet, though. Art's forced to use a Mana Void to secure that kill, and that allows Havos to find the kill in the Witch Doctor in the meantime. Navi got a little lucky there. There were, there were two Navi heroes standing right next to each other, and the cast bounced to a creep. And they could have been stun locked for a good three seconds there. Did you say puppy? Or am I hearing things? I don't think I said. I said Navi. Oh, you said I, Navi. Okay. I think I did. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Do so this pop, but Funic is nicely turning around. He drops the Chronosphere, catching her on the edge, but then turns the facer and will be turned to stone as a result. Not really an ideal combo. Still gets the Monoburn off, and suddenly Lady Dusa, not so tanky, a timely bash again. And Mr. Funic secures Mr. the kill. Face. He's getting these. He's just, okay, I need a bash, I need a bash, I need a bash right now. Kill secure. Probably would have gone down to the quad spike smoker anyway, but just makes it a bit easier. And that's a double Oblivion staff out for Denny. We are looking at like a 12 minute Orchid at most. And Tornado finds that for Ninja mid lane. They're going to go in now with Vanescore. Concussive shot, your EMP, and slither away, Snake Man. No such luck. Navi strikes again, man. They're toxin. everything going Navi play right now. Up by 7k gold, up by 5k experience. The AM's been shut down. They won both their solo lanes. The rotations have been on the point. And they've been getting the runes too, as of late. Very experienced captain. Well, help your team do this. If you will so, yeah, you nice will draft, nice game plan, nice execution from Navi in the early game. And can Compass, as you said, come back with a strat with ancient stacks? Maybe, but really they don't have that many tools at their disposal to prevent from getting snowballed on. I, I just don't know what they're going to do once this Invoker Orchid is out, honestly. They're, these supports can't leave the lane at that point. They've got to have sentries already plopped down. They have dropped one here. Just looking for a D ward and maybe if the tree tries to sneak up on them, but that's going to free up Funic, uh, as well as Dendi, and, and even Havos Razor just to, to free farm all the lanes. And Mascabatus is now out, so between this and the Invoker, Either of these two cores can pretty much solo kill anyone. Maybe not the Medusa, but definitely anyone else. Yeah, I th I actually, yeah, they can kill the Medusa. Just Cyclone into EMP should be a fairly easy kill. And, like, they really need Manta up on AM, I'd say, so he can at least farm whatever he wants without the threat of Invoker and Skywrath with their silences. But still, he has to worry about Faceless Void, so even getting a Manta style, which is probably 20 minutes away in this game, isn't going to save him. I wonder if Karts even says, you know what, I, I gotta go Battle Fury this game. <laughs> I think he does. It's definitely gonna make him weaker in like the 15 to 25 minute, but they're not gonna win this like relatively early. If they win, it's gonna be 40, 40 plus minutes. Yeah, that's that's where you'll need to get some points in Bloodlust for Goddamn, and, and KPG will need to take it late, but bottom lane, fun it goes in. Thermoduce Ultimate, it is popped right now, and he'll have to turn and run away. He doesn't have mana for the Chronosphere. That is one of the other downsides to go in this build. You don't get those extra stats. Where's the tree armor? I thought he was just going to tree armor a man up on him. What mm -hmm. the heck? He would have been turned to stone anyway. Oh the dude was out of mana after stone oh. That's true. But still, not bad. Yeah. Stun on the oh, Havos top go. lane, but there's just not much follow-up. And, and then he's on the move now. He's ghost walked. He's almost got mass wax. And he might just find two kills for his team here if they're not careful. Tornado, is Denny gonna go for it? Gets the slow off the start. Cold snap to the bomb, goddamn. Now he can invoke that tornado. He hits it on two. And then Arc's thrown up in the air, has to blink away. An easy double kill for Dendi while simultaneously mid lane. It's a roaming Medusa. Okay, they get the Gale. Now Bank score will pay. So they'll at least get a return kill here. Nice dodge from F Ninja. Yeah, won't, won't end up going down to that as Dendi does rotate in. The Snake Lady. Joined by the Snake Man, they'll combine for a, a much-needed kill, but it's it's only on the Scarath Mage. 
And it is Vanguard. Screw the Battle Fury. Well, who's gonna carry is the, is the concern. I, I guess they're just they're feeling that this anti mage has to be able to fight and also can't tr be running around with like 700 health against the against the Chrono Sphere and against the Ghost Walking Orchid Invoker. Well, this ain't gonna help. They lose their Venomancer, and at the same time, uh, they do end up losing the Witch Doctor. So two more, one a core and one a support going down again. The the struggle continues here. Navi just absolutely demolishing KPG. I think I jinxed them. Yeah, no. I was like, oh man, I can totally either. see them taking the game off Navi, and, and they're just getting trounced. What exactly is their is their banner? The heck is that? It's like a. It's compass. It's a, it's a compass, dude. I don't know what compass is. is you, you don't know what a compass is to find direction. Com compass? Compass? Yeah, K O M. No, their their banner in is is it a girl holding a compass? Dyer's I think it's just a compass. Under oh no, not that. The one, the banner. Oh, the banner. Uh, Where is it? Bullet. Uh, anyway, Are we gonna miss a kill for this? Yeah, we're gonna miss a kill for this. Damn it, Ben. Doing your best to sacrifice. Oh, I hate you. Now Dendi's done. Slow down. Arx is gonna try and run him out, but... Well, Dendi's gonna be moving very quickly as soon as he pops this Ghost Walk. Blinking forward. Can he get off the Ghost Walk? Mana Void, not enough! The Ghost Walk! At the final hour. Dendi Mon escapes the Wild Gale. Not gonna connect. And now the tower went down. Alright, let's take a look at this banner. Oh, can we? No, we can't. Come on, guys, stop fighting. <laughs> uh, Vanguard. Gonna save him from this, maybe. No, not gonna save him from having his mana drain, so he still has to blink out. As Half Ninja doesn't get punished at all, Vanguard completely whipping that all. The most going ham, but no, he will end up getting that kill. Might pay for it, though. He's slowed down here. Unfortunately, he's out of mana, and there's no mana void, and, well, they're gonna need reinforcements to come in, and Havos dropping pretty low, gets off the, the full guy, say gets off, gets that final zap, and secures the kill, but the Witch Doctor will bring him down, and while that was all happening, the Medusa goes down again, Funic combining with Denny to secure the kill there, alright, banner time, let's do this thing, yeah, that is a girl holding a compass, Ben. European Dyer's spelling. Is under <laughs> was it the spelling that confused you? Because yeah, I did. thought you were asking what that was. Oh, yeah, it's the spelling. I was like, is that something that I don't know what it is? Anyway, so offline. Maybe that's how you spell it in Cyrillic, or in, in Russian. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm used to good old American English. American. <laughs> so the offline Deuce sounds good in theory, but I mean, we just saw how badly Faceless Void destroyed her, and that was u usually without the help of Trium Protector 2. And she is actually pretty vulnerable, and I'm not exactly sure how they got away with it in the first game, but it can be exploited. Yeah, I think the one of the issues was their opponent did not pick all this mana burn either. So, Dendi. well, it didn't run the Cosmic Invoker mostly. This Dendi, he's gonna blink away, trying to dodge out away from some nukes, and, and probably gets this kill in F Ninja. No, maybe not. He's turned to turned to stone, and now we'll end up no. going down on the way out. The last slice comes from our still secured. Then he getting a little cocky there bottom lane. It did require a four hero rotation, but that is a pretty damn big kill. And that's a Yasha for anti mage is that, too. Is that really a 1900 gold swing? Oh, that one fight? That one kill. Yeah, and I guess the so. anti mage is fat now. Oh, that's that's a that's that's streak. Yeah, he's got a Yasha up, so... Oh, no. here, in the meantime, attack. catching the Witch Doctor, and they're gonna chase for more here. Goddamn. Potentially caught out by your tree, no. Gonna back, but they'll continue their siege on the tower. No Ags yet for a Vos. They're just gonna have to do this the good old-fashioned way with some punches. FNG, though, slowed down a bit, and now nuked, so he can't really use his living armor to great effect. He'll throw it on a Vos instead. That's the one nice thing about that Ogre and Ignite. Lots of damage over time. In the end, they'll back off. So they do lose their Invoker, and... They get the slight trade on the Witch Doctor mid. So they're forced to defend in a position that they don't really want to defend in. They want to be farming off as much as possible and anti-mage on bottom. Speaking of that anti-mage, he's going to blink into the trees and uh, retreat out. He's getting close to Manta. That is where things get a Denied. bit scary with this combat anti-mage. Uh, let's see. I guess he's just opting to, to skip the Crimson Guard. Mm. There's really not many damage sources this game, so it really it might not be the best Crimson Guard game. And he's under farmed, and it'll delay his Manta a lot. And Manta is going to be far more effective than uh, Crimson Guard in at least saving his own hide. This is such a plague, man. It's just so annoying to push against this Venomancer. 
You know, all they need to do is just kill the split pushers, though, with the Sky Wrath and Faceless Void. It's going to be relatively easy before he gets his Manta, but even after he gets his Manta, it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, but they do have this very nice Observer Ward up here to protect the Anti-Mage. So Compass, we're in recovery mode right now, just using that good old Venno to delay. They're hunting, though. They're hunting. Dendimon is on the move. He's got the Blink ready, the Orchid online, and any support he catches is an easy solo. They're goal. smoked, though. They're, they know that he's around. Or think that he's around. They were sitting mid. Denny has been ghost hogging for a while, so I'm pretty sure they didn't actually see him, but they may just have their suspicions that his next move will be through the woods. And they'd probably be right about that, but Arts will dodge away. They can get backstabbed, though. They're trying to go on Havos. Look at it go to start. The multicast to follow. Havos in trouble on the Razor. Probably going to go down. The Mana Void secures an additional kill on the Skyrath, and then he just kind of shrugs and says, well, I don't know what you want me to do about this. But it ain't gonna be too much there. Maybe he snipes the courier. One more auto attack need, and his blink tanker gets disabled though. Then he gets stunned. The dust is gonna come out. Dendi, don't die like this. That would not be a good trade, but drops a defensive EMP. Has a blink dagger now online. And should be able to retreat. In fact, wants to turn. FNG has his ultimate, but with the Dusa ult being popped, they're not gonna be able to engage further. Then the Chronosphere comes from Funic. Has to be careful not to get stone gazed. He will. That's gonna mostly negate your Chronosphere. A great ultimate from the tree, but really no follow up. And it might be his turn next. Navi just kind of running in one by one. And if not feeding, at least wasting their ultimates. They will, for the most part, make it out in time. They do get the tower mid. They have a gem on FNG too. They can't lose that. Oh wow, he, he was pretty close to dying. Well, these are decent fights for Compass. I don't know if they're quite good enough yet though. Very nice uh, EMP from Invoker though. If he didn't have that EMP, they would have just got train wrecked there. Yeah, we're running up this very congested ramp. That is, that is sad times on, on the freeways. Something we know a lot about here in Los Angeles. Well, when we, whenever we... The rare times we have to drive. <laughs> Unfortunately, doesn't happen too often. This is a strange item build coming out from their team. So the Razor is not going for a mech, and instead the Skyrath is instead of a Force. So I think they might have been better suited to just getting a mech and BKB standard on Razor to make him a little bit more tanky. But maybe they think that he might have more mana issues than usual because of a uh, anti mage. Mana issues are a real problem. Hmm. It's not, it's not like the best BKB mine. game either, but there are some decent stuns here. There's still the Stone Gaze. There's still the Witch Doctor ult. Those multicast. Ones. That's actually been a big problem for Havost as well. Those multicasts. The the first one mid was what got him killed. If that was a regular stun, I think he lives. Or at least for a lot longer. Either way, FNG will back off and Navi are controlling the map reasonably well. It's only the AM farming. They have a lot of control here so far, and well, until he gets Manta, he's still very vulnerable to the, the double silences that Navi bring to the table. And even after it, there's still Chrono to worry about. Speaking of which, completed me honor up for your, your Faceless Void. Navi are getting their farm. They're not really itemizing for super late game, though. So, uh, well, nice lead for them, but they want to keep this momentum going, and, and they'll try to into the Roche Pit. And this should be a pretty uncontested Roche. Seems Compass are just going to push the top lane. It's more of them to drop this ward because they want Compass to like come out of their comfort zone and get away from their T2s. And the Ancient fight is a very good place for Navi to take a fight and Compass are actually playing the other way instead of and just keeping up and protecting the AM because they expect a uh, ghost wall gank. So they're not falling for Compass's trap. They've got a Havost, uh, Havost Aegis as well. Always a nice thing for such an aggressive player. F Ninja could be in trouble mid. That Chrono's lurking, and yep, Funk's gonna go in now. Gets the Chrono off. It's only on like the southern edge of the tower, though, which means the support might be able to assist. They do get off the Witch Doctor just done, and the ultimate with the Maladic damage crashing in. It could be enough. They should just mount avoid this. They will get stunned, Funk. As Arts blinks forward, now looking for Havos, but with a BKB. And with nothing really to lock him down, well, maybe there is the Stone Gaze getting in front of Havos, turning him to stone and killing him off. That's a nice move with the face boots jump, just ran past him. There's an Aegis, and as FNG looks for his ultimate, he gets stunned, barely managing to get off the overgrowth. Now the gem carry on the retreat out, but AM blinks forward. FNG heading the other direction, giving him the loop de loo. Quick on up surviving, goddamn. Gotta be careful here as Dendi jumps in. Tornado off the mark, but does kind of zone him to the southern rim. And the chase continues, EMP. Not quite gonna connect, but well, still they should get this kill, and they will. Was an Aegis down though for that, and they also lost their void. Not too shabby again from Compass. 
They just had the, the dis disadvantage of firepower. F Ninja, this one might be a bit greedy. He's trying to bait Havost here. Maybe it works out. He traps him in with the ward a bit. And the, the illusions will do the rest of the work. Dendi's going to go down as well, perhaps. Oh, he's close. Tornado. I say Dendi's going to go down. He's got some escape mechanisms ready. Blinks to the low ground. Then invokes. Uh-oh. I think he just invoked uh, Cold Snap. Yeah. He wanted that ghost walk. That's unfortunate. Well, Dendi will fall in the end, Ben, but this is not looking too bad. Suddenly, Anti-Mage, your leader in net worth, he was down like 3k before that whole series of events. Yeah, they've been fighting very, very well, and... Funic without a BKB, I, I thought that he could uh, take the Veno down faster. Oh, another Chrono. Another solo Chrono, but the multicast, the timing on that one, he won't even blink out. Oh my goodness, Navi, don't throw this one away. This is going right back down to a 10k gold lead. The experience, it's basically going to be negligible if they lose one more fight. It's already fairly negligible. This could fall apart. Navi yet to play a game in the Summit 2. This will be their first as a vote. Goes in, but Arts is standing his ground. The Mystic Flare will zone him off. But with that Vanguard, it's just a lot of HP. The Mono, the mono Shield as well. He's pretty damn durable. And he's even looking to get aggressive. Reinforcements are arriving. Arts will blink away. The rest of the team is going to sound the retreat. And he'll head towards the southern lane. And Navi is going to up mid. No, they're going to back off. This is buying space for Gorok now. Yasha online. It's damn slow farm for Adusa, but... Well, we all know this hero is fully capable of catching up. They do have a very nice anti-BKB, though, with the uh, Death Ward and the Medusa with her ultimate. So even if they do get BKBs and even if they do use it during something like Chronosphere, they still have to watch out. And, as, I mean, we talked about it. You talked about it in the early game. It's the Stone Gaze plus Death Ward. But that is actually pretty formidable. And I think they're underestimating Compass's lineup and synergy. Yeah, it seems PSM is going for Yules, which is obviously, it's great against the Void Chrono if you don't get caught. So, he won't be rushing that Ags, unfortunately, and uh, not, probably not going to see the level 3 ult for some time. And Although, I guess the, the rubber band effect with experience could could change that, so maybe he will get some, some decent bounces soon enough. Anti-Mage is level 16 at this point, and he's overtaken Dendi in levels, and Dendi had a fantastic, fantastic start. So he's pretty much only made, like, had a blink dagger in, like, the last 12 minutes. This item's about to get a battle, or, uh, not a, not a battle fury, sorry, uh, uh, butterfly soon. And he's gonna have evasion. Chronosphere won't remove that. There's no hex in sight on the invoker. And Denny is, as you mentioned, going BKB. They won't have any way to remove this evasion. That's a pretty damn big deal. It also gives him a lot more DPS as Navi. The Veal Compass Gaming Smoke and it's FNG who's lurking in the tree line. Funix here as well. He's just going to get stunned out. Not really reacting to this one. Now the Chronosphere. He was very patient through it all. He'll secure two kills. Crouching Funix and Chronosphere to turn that one around. Now the Empty Mage trying to duke it out, but his team is mostly low. Gorf will pop his ultimate. That Venomancer goes down. Wasn't able to use the Poison Nova. Still they stand and fight. And it seems this Anti Mage and Dusa combo is actually forcing Navi back. Pretty damn hard. No more Mana Void though. Arts has to be careful. Blinking forward is Denny with the cold snap. The Scarif makes on the Orchid Silence. It's enough to get the kill. And Gorak now also forced back. They may end up losing five out of Mana, out of Shield, dead for 51 <laughs> seconds. Ogre, Ogre smoke popped, and then he's like, uh, what do I do? Because Navi was like almost all in the fog there. So it was very difficult for him to engage, and usually you're okay with your ogre being pop first, but they were just, Navi was in the perfect position to defend against that smoke gate. The funny part was that FNG got eyes on the whole thing when he was invis, and then Funic just kind of stood there and just waited. <laughs> Scarf made for a Mystic Flare like right next to him, just randomly, and he's like, eh, I'm not ready to chrono. Okay, now I'll chrono. That was a very patient engagement from Navi. Anti-Mage could have just waited until they had a butterfly. He was actually very, very close. All they needed was like 900 gold. So I'm not really sure why they attempted to smoke it. They could have waited like, let's say two minutes, waited for the butterfly and then wait for Roshan to be very close to his respawn timer. And that would have been a much better timing if it were successful. And here comes your completed BKB for Dendi. Let's see what else we got in this courier. Havost Ags coming soon. So some big items coming for all three of their cores and we may even see Funic work towards like a, a BKB or MKB soon. Maybe he goes for the BKB first, but they will still want something to do with this butterfly, and it is getting near. 
No, it's not just any old butterflies either. This is a, a bloodlusted anti mage. So if he gets a Basher or Abyssal Blade afterwards, he can man fight almost anyone, unless Razor's already stealing his damage. They also don't have a good way to take the anti mage oh lines down. Generally, your lineup will have enough AoE to do Ooh. so like almost instantaneously, but Nelvis is actually pretty light on the AoE. Yeah, and they have Chronosphere into EMP. <laughs> it's, that's pretty much it. Whereas KPG Rise don't have the AoE lockdown aside from the G Salt, but they've got the AoE damage from the Venom Inter. They push Mount's mid lane, the most in the front, and the rotations are going to come. Chronosphere's here from Funny. He's caught three, EMP on top, and Gorak, as well as Arch dropping quickly. Nice tornado there from Dendi, right as the Illusions come back down to Earth. He's got one blink left, he'll spend it. No teleport for two seconds, though. This might not be enough for Arts. Don't lose your anti mage. They will. Great Chronosphere from Funic. And while that was happening, middle lane, Vangscore does get caught out. Pops his mech. The support's looking for any kind of trade, but it's slim pickings, even though they will get the Skyrath. Denny's going to catch him, though. This could be two more. It could be another team wipe. It started top lane. Does Denny get off that good tornado? Three seconds to go. Cold snap to start on PSM. That's pretty much going to kill the Witch Doctor alone. He's got the tornado potentially ready. Yeah, he's going to use it just to secure this kill. Well, they also jump in on Ninja, So they'll lose the Witch Doctor. They're going to lose Ninja. It's a double wipe for Navi. Two team fights in a row in barely as many minutes. Complete turn of the, of the tides for them. And that graph is now going right back up. And Void has a BKB now. I mean, they were already just getting wrecked by Void before. Ogre. No man's land. He doesn't have enough death sounds for me. <laughs> you want to hear that dumb sadness, you know? The developers never expect him to die with his stats. <laughs> Why do we need any lines, you know? It's all good. They're looking to throw this jump in on Gorak top lane. Flaking from Dandy to start this EMP to follow, and that dude is just not very tanky against this EMP invoker. Seems Navi may have found the ultimate solution. They'll try to monovoid, but Dendi BKB to dodge it. As far as the damage goes, the mini stun really not going to matter. And then they turn with the funny chronosphere. PSM nearly walking into it with thinking about a death war, but that's not going to happen. GG any second now. It's wrecked by that BKB. Oh my goodness. That timing from Dendi. Well, those European servers definitely paid off from here. If they chase on the goddamn, Tornado's gonna find them. Triple kill. Game secured. Navi start off the summit too, one and up. And it looked a little shaky there in the middle though, I must say. Pretty nice execution though, and the thing about it is, like, it's very difficult for Compass to pull off a GG combo. What are they gonna do, like,